Hello fellow crafters, this is Christy over at Crafty Christy's Creations and today I'm bringing you another Silhouette Studio tutorial. And today we are going to talk about the Warp Tool, which is a feature that's in the Designer's Edition or higher. So let's go ahead and get started. So here you can see I went ahead and made this Field Day 2022 and you see how my words are a little bit slanted here. I'm going to teach you how to do that. So let's go ahead and pull that off to the side going to pull in my text tool and I'm going to type out field and then on a new line I'm going to type out day and then on another new line we're going to do 2022. Okay I'm going to grab all of these. We're going to go ahead and give them a fill color so we can see what we're doing and I like to get rid of the line color. And I'm going to grab, I'm using uh, Mr. Rabbit font. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and make these a little bit bigger. So I'm holding down shift and alt and pulling with my mouse at the same time. That way it pulls from the center instead of just pulling them a larger in one direction. And then I'm going to go ahead and just get these lined up on, you can see my little um, graph lines there. I'm gonna center these up on those lines a little bit, just on this one side. And then we'll place that one when we're done. Okay, so now I'm gonna come over down here to my work panel. It looks like this grid. And then I'm gonna come over to ABC. I'm going to select the word field and I'm going to use this first one. And you see how it makes one size smaller and one size larger. I'm going to go ahead and take this and I'm going to drag it all the way down one, two lines. And this one I'm going to go up one, two lines and I'm going to leave it right on that grid line. And then this side I'm going to um, just drag this top one up. Okay, I'm going to leave it like that. Do you find this helpful? Make sure you smash that like button and hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any future Silhouette Studio tutorials. Now let's jump back in where we left off. And now with this one, we're going to use the same piece, but we're going to go the other direction. So I'm going to go ahead and just grab these. Pull them here where I want them. And then this one, we're going to go up one, two, and I'm going to go ahead and pull it out to the same line. Pull this one out to the same line, and then I'm going to go down one, two, and then they're the same distance. Should this one's going to need to go up. I think we did three. Sometimes you, the bottom words, you may have to actually go up further so that way they fill in the gaps better. Okay, that looks pretty good there. I like how that looks. I can go ahead and click off. And then, um, yeah, I like that. And then I can pull in my 2022. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller so it fits nicely in that space. And I'm going to pull that in right here. Okay, so that looks really good. I like the way that that turned out. The last few things we have to do to make this ready to cut, um, it's hard to tell because I went ahead and gave these a fill color. So let's grab these words and I'm going to take out the fill color. And we'll go back to giving it, we'll just give it a black line color. So now you can see how each letter is like this. That means they're not... Um, they're not welded together yet, meaning they're, if I went and cut right now with my cutting machine, it's going to cut out the I separate, and then it's going to cut this line right here between the I and the E. So we're going to go ahead and fix that. So I'm going to grab everything here. If you want to cut everything out of the same color, we can do all of them this way and weld them all together. So now I can hit weld. 
And now that welded all of my letters. And you can see the F and the little dot on the I is in a different group than the rest of this word. So again, now what I do is I can grab all of these for the word field and I can make it a compound path. So now it's gonna say all of this is one piece. Whereas with the D, with the D and the A and the Y, when I grab those, you can see the D is different. So if I just did this and made this its own color, and then the way it is sitting, I can make the D its own, a different color. But if I want these to all be the same color, I need to grab both of these and now I can make it a compound path. And then you see now when it's a compound path, it's gonna make them all the same color. And then this one here, Again, we can go ahead and grab our 2022, make it a compound path, and now it'll make all of those words their own color as well. Okay, so that is how you can use the warp tool to change the look of your text for some fun dimension to your text.